So I had this uh, female named Kia, and it was my first dog. It was the one that I said broke the long down <laughs> and attacked the dog that very first trial. And Peggy said, oh, are you gonna quit you? I said, heck no, now I'm determined. I made a Schutz and one on that dog. And I think I got Verhunden, because back then you needed a 70, 70, 80. And I think I went 72, 75, 81. And when I heard the 81, I was like, yes! And I think I got for hunting because the judge was like, is this guy an idiot? I didn't care about scores. I know I wasn't breeding. It's just, for me, that was trying to eat an elephant. Like, how do I actually make a trial? How do I do all this? So our club has kind of gotten spoiled because you need a 270 um, to qualify for USCA Nationals. And a guy with his very first dog, his very first three, he gets a 267. And he goes, Joel, where do we go wrong? I'm like, dang, we've gotten spoiled. No longer I made a three. Where did we go wrong? I'm like, okay, let's try for a 270 the next time. How about just, wow, I did it. Right. So anyway, this dog Kia, she was my pet, and she knew all kinds of tricks. I mean, just life. And I decided, because Gary said, Joel, she is not for competition but you learned on her, now it's time to get a dog that you can have a lot of fun with. So that's when I got that dog, Nico, that I took to my first national. And he was a really good dog. So I sold Kia, and this is where I don't have a problem selling a dog, you guys. She was three and a half years old, and I sold her to this lady, and the ladies, and I sold her for like 3,000, 2,500, I forget the price. And she said, can you write down the commands? I got to like 120 commands, oh, wow. not just Schutzen commands, but I mean, all of your dogs do too. Leave it, walk, load up, you know, I mean, just all, uh, forget Schutzen commands, just life, life commands, uh, a crate, just everything. I said, I'm getting ripped off. This should be way more than this, this was a lot of work. You know, I didn't change my price. And, but to teach her a new command was so easy because she's learned how to learn teaching these things place, the more commands you teach, the next command's easier because they've learned how to learn. Mm -hmm. But on a side note where I didn't have a problem selling dogs now, I sold that dog to that lady and the lady called me probably 13 years later because Kia lived to be almost 16, so maybe 12 years later. She called and said, uh, Kia just died. I said, oh, I'm so sorry. And she said, Do you, I want to buy another one from you. I said, ma'am, I don't have any dogs for sale and she said I will pay you whatever price you want I will pay you any I said no it's not about the money I just don't have any for sale and then she goes on to tell me this dog slept in my bed this was my best friend the best thing I did for Kia was sell her the best thing she would have gotten garbage kennel time with me however once a dog now this is where I'm hypocritical once a dog makes a shot from three and did everything I ask no amount of money will ever sell you yeah with a young dog I don't have a problem because they mold but like arc he dies here. Mm -hmm. um, Slayer will die here. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I really lose patience uh, with how some people treat dogs that have done work for the human all their life. When I was at Menlo Park, uh, somebody came on a Sunday and said, there's a Schutzen 3 dog in, in the shelter. Oh. I was so mad. I said, somebody get that dog today or I'm getting it. This dog did its dumbbells, its tracking, and to just treat it like trash at the end of its life, that really, really, really bothered me. Somebody got it, that dog was out of that shelter in an hour. Does John have that dog still? That dog passed on, but John did the same thing for that dog. We have a guy in the club, there was a Schutzen 3 dog that was in a shelter. Anyway, that really drive, that drives me nuts. That's, it's a, I think that's a, gr a grave sin. Mm -hmm. So if you see, and I'm not ta telling you guys how to live your life, but if you see a dog can't actually do a Schutzen, but it's a well-behaved dog, Placing a dog that's well behaved versus getting garbage time, I don't think there's really anything wrong with that. Mm -hmm. But once a dog does everything for me, uh, no amount of money, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that one's staying and dying here. Um, so here's what I, here's, if you guys are taking notes, I want you to watch a video on YouTube. It's called The Dopamine Project. Let me see if the exact. There you go. What's the other one? What was that five-minute Schutzen passion? The, the elegance of I the feel. Um, dopamine project. This is not 
a Yeah, and the Chapuka monkeys. Yes, yeah, that. Yeah, okay, it's, it's with an old professor from a lectern. So it's okay to, uh, um, if you watch it, it has nothing to do with dogs. It has to do with what dopamine does, and this one blew my mind. I had no clue dogs uh, did this, Thank and you. it's actually with. Uh, did they do it with puppies where they put a drop on the tongue and revive them? Because that's what you do with newborn puppies if they aren't breathing. Oh, no, huh? This is something with. They taught a. I think it was a monkey. When the yellow light goes off, you come back and get your reward. And they measure the dopamine. So the yellow light comes off, you come back and get your reward. So... So what do you mean by dopamine? The pleasure sensors. Oh, okay. The pleasure. Because uh, dopamine's a drug, that's why I was confused. Yeah, for yeah. pleasure too. Yeah. So the dopamine levels in the brain, and when you look at variable rewards, you watch the study. So now what they did, and I was so against this in the beginning, uh, until I saw the study. Now I'm fiddling with it a little bit. And I'm not saying do this, but just think this through. So the dopamine project, the yellow light comes off, the animal, I don't remember what animal, comes back and gets its reward. The dopamine goes off, come back and you get your reward. And oh, one time, so they're measuring the dopamine. Now the light went off, they came back and got the reward and the uh, person just waited. And now the monkey was frustrated and the dopamine starts shooting up. And then it said, it, they're thinking, the animal must have thought, I didn't go fast enough. And now they're experimenting with dolphins. How fast do we get a dolphin to go across the pool? So the, the animal went quicker to uh, the place pad and the yellow light went off again. And it, 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 this time he ran back and then they gave a reward. So now they're, uh, so now they're working on speed. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it would go and get it all, the uh, you know, the yellow light would come off, get the reward. And then they did two. Yellow light went off, sprinted back, no reward. Yellow light went off, sprinted back, no reward. And the third time, it went so fast, it came back and they're measuring, and you'll see it on the study, it went like this. <laughs> now, I mean, now the dopamine went through the roof. I have to try harder. Maybe luck is on my side. And then the guy compares it to Vegas, Las Vegas, how what the dopamine does in the brain when they finally, the bells and whistles go off and the sirens on a slot machine, they measure that and it's almost the exact same as the uh, animal, they said. Anyway, it's the scientific say it has nothing to do with dog training. <laughs> so I've been, to, I've been fiddling with this though, and I was so against this. In the middle of a foos, my clicker is, so, which means I'm paying you. So in the middle of it, I'll go, and I don't pay them. And they're like, why didn't I get paid? I have to work harder now. So I'm starting to fiddle with that. I wouldn't do it all the time or you're gonna lose faith in your marker. You mark a behavior and you don't pay and the dog's like, well, then your marker loses value. So you don't wanna do this all the time, but I'm probably trying to do it one out of a hundred times on the foos. And in fact, you saw me do it yesterday with uh, Jinx. A spin behind is my marker that you're gonna get your toy. Mm -hmm. In the middle of the foos, I went, spin behind. I don't know if you saw that. And I did not pay him. And I went foos, and then his foos actually got better. Mm. I forgot to mention that after I put him up. It actually got better, like, okay, I gotta pay more attention. How come I didn't get my reward? If you watch the uh, dopamine project on video, it'll make sense what I'm saying. Right. It's a scientific study, and it has nothing to do with dog training, but obviously you apply it to dog training. Mm -hmm. I like some of these studies. Yeah. On the, I put the, I put